Welcome to Illo Talk. I am Corey Kerr, and I'm going to go live uh, showing you how to make this butterfly flap over here. Um, I'm going to be using a uh, uh, After Effects plugin called Joysticks and Sliders, and this will not be edited, so you will see it happen well live here now. Intro, go. This is Illo Talk. Okay, so here we have, uh, here's, here's what we've got. We've got the joysticks and sliders plug in right over here and all of that jazz. Um, I'm going to turn on, um, oh, what was I going to call that? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, I'll just call it out. <clears throat> so we've got joysticks and sliders over here. We've got some assets over here. Um, just notice, I'm just going to separate these so you can kind of see what is going on. Okay, so I've got all of these different all of these different assets. I'm just gonna pull this down. Is my computer gonna be awesome right now? Well, that'd be cool. Be cool if it like actually wanted to participate in this. All right, so um, I've got all these different assets. I'm gonna put those back together. Okay, now the idea with joysticks and sliders is that you set things up based on uh, right, left, up, down positions um, in the first five keyframes of something. And then you can control anything inside of that. So I'm just going to give you like a kind of a quick example here. So the quick example isn't going to look good, but I'm just going to say, okay, so let's zoom in by pressing the plus button. Okay, there's five keyframes. Um, I'm just going to open all these and we'll just hit like position. Okay. And let's add, um, turn that on. So now we've got a thing for position. So we'll call this center. If you hit page down, it'll take you to the next keyframe. And so this will be the right position. So I'm just going to take these things and I'm just going to move them around. This is fun. The, the computer just gets to hesitate each time. That'll be, that'll be awesome. Okay, um, let's call that good. All right, and if you're not moving something, you still need to add a keyframe. So I'm still gonna add some keyframes here. Oh, this is rendering at full. Render to third. All right, and we'll come down here, add a keyframe there and there. Okay, and then we're gonna go to the next one. This one is supposed to be um, left, so I'm going to click origin, which brings everything back together. Um, and then I can come in and, you know, do whatever I'm going to do here. It doesn't matter, um, f for the sake of this. Okay. Then I'm going to click down command a origin again. So this will be the up position. So I'm just going to move these around just so that they're different. Okay, and page down again, command A, click origin. And this will be the down position. Okay, so there's that. All right, now we select everything and you click create new joystick. And we'll just call this garbage. Click OK. Goes through, creates the joystick, and then we see here this little joystick. Okay, so I'm just gonna zoom in so you can kind of see this. When it goes up, it'll give you the up position. When it goes to the right, it gives you the right position, but it, when it goes diagonally, it's gonna give you a combination of both of those. And so based on, based on what you're doing with this, you can do some really, really cool stuff. So if I just grab these, Move this off to the side here. Okay, so I'm just, as I take this, you can see it's animating all of those different things. And I can just come in and just keyframe the position um, of this. And I can say, you know, be here. And then over here, I want you to be here. And then 
really quick. Oh, <laughs> let's zoom out a little bit so that we're doing this a little bit longer. And then one of the nice things that you can do is you can take these, right click, keyframe, assistant, easy ease, or F9, right? And so that will kind of smooth out the movement. So lots of fun stuff like that. Okay, I am going to um, undo what I just did. So I'm going to take this and let's go unlink. Okay, and then I'm going to press home. Okay, so that puts everything there and I can just delete this. So what I'm going to do is actually a little bit more complicated than just moving things around because what I want to do is I want, like in the upper right hand corner, I want it to flap in 3D space, but I want to be able to control both the spread. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have, I'm going to have the spread be left and right, and then the flap be up and down. And so I can have the, the wings together and flap up and down, or spread and flap up and down, or, you know, do that. Anyway, it'll be fun. Okay, then I'm gonna add uh, some sliders to some things. So, given that, let's command A, go like this. Okay, so the first thing that I need to do is I wanna take my, all of these things and I'm gonna make them 3D layers. So, to create a 3D layer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm gonna hit this little cube, okay? And now everything gets crazy, right? Sometimes it's easier before you do that to move your anchor points, and so that's what I'm actually going to do real quick. So I don't need that, so I'm just going to shy guy that. The head, okay, I want the head to anchor at the neck right here, okay. And then I want the wing, which wing is this? I'm just going to solo each one of these. I'm going to have the wing. Anchor down here. And you'll notice that one, one trick that I like to do um, is that there's this fur down here. Um, and that fur matches the rest. And so you, you can't really tell uh, that it's not actually connected. And I'll show you what I mean in a bit. So I'm just going to go through and do each one of these. And I'm going to put the anchor point at the body. No, the middle's fine. I'll leave it in the middle because I'm going to have that rotate. Okay, and then the back wing. Have that be right there. And this one. I'll have that be right there. And this one in the same spot. Okay, so now I'm gonna parent things together. So I'm gonna parent the body top to the body. And then I'm gonna parent the rest of this to the body as well. So everything is controlled with the body and the body will be controlled by itself. Okay, now as I've got those, now I'm gonna come in and I'm going to uh, turn these into 3D layers. Okay, so now they're 3D layers. And as they're 3D layers, I can hit R for rotate. And if I rotate this along the X axis, you'll see that it comes towards us and away from us. So we can do this nice little deal. But you know, see how it kind of flips in between those? So the first thing that I want to do is I actually want to separate these out in Z space a little bit. So um, I'm going to just pull up two views here. So let's go two views horizontal. Okay, and uh, on the left, we're looking at this from the top. On the right, we're looking at it from the side. So uh, the head is fine. Okay, so the wing, I want that to be a little bit forward. I'm just gonna pull it a little bit forward like that. And let's see here. Um, I'm just gonna hit P, not on everything. U to collapse everything. Let's go wing P. There we go. 
So uh, let's let's keep things kind of incrementally here. So I'm going to go negative 100 on the Z space. That's towards and away from the camera. Okay, and on this one, let's go negative um, 80. So that'll be close, but not on top of each other. Actually, I'm going to do that as a as a negative 50. I think that'll be easier. Okay, and then the body is going to be at zero. In the back wing, which one is this? That one. So that one needs to be um, the opposite of this. So I'm just going to put that at 50. And then this wing is that back one. So it's going to be the farthest away and the opposite of the other one. So instead of negative 100, I'm going to put it at 100. Yeah. So now we've got our wings and you can see that they're all spread out. Okay. And so if I were to rotate this body, just to give you an idea of what's going on, and I hit R here and I rotate it along the Y axis, you can see that they're all kind of just sort of close, but not directly on top. And you will also see that I did not parent all the things to what I needed to. So I'm going to unshy guy this. I grab this mouth. That should have rotated. Let's parent it to the parent it to the body as well. Okay, so body rotate. Why does that? Oh, I know why. Okay, so this is important. Um, everything has to be everything has to be three D layer. This is not a three D layer, so thus it can't rotate in three D space. Now that it's a three D layer. It moves with it. Beautiful, lovely. Okay. All right. So now we want to get. Now the way that rotation works in 3D space is you're rotating along an axis. X is left right, Y is up and down, and Z is towards or away from the camera. So we have X, we have Y, and we have Z. Okay. So if my X axis is like this then when I rotate something along that axis, it comes forward. So it's perpendicular to that axis. So think of, think of that axis as a pole, and then the thing that you're rotating is attached to that pole. So Y axis is going to be vertical, and the thing that rotates is going to rotate around that axis. Okay. Same with Z. Z is coming at you, and so it's going to rotate along that axis. Okay, so given that, um, that's, that's just what I wanted to point out there. So here we are. I don't need this view anymore. So I'm going to go back to one view. Um, and I'm going to set up my initial resting position that's going to be at the center of everything. And so I'm going to grab everything. Okay. And let's zoom back in by pressing plus. Okay. So we can see the first five frames really easily. Okay, and I'll shy guy these guys again, so we only have the ones that we need. Um, I'm not going to do anything with the head yet. I'll come back to the head. Let's just do the wings right now. Um, I also don't need the body right now, and so we're just going to deal with these four layers for the moment, and I'll show you how you can kind of fix that later. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the... Um, front wing, let's see, FB, front back, okay, FF, front, front. Okay, great. All right, so um, let's go Let's go this way, and I'm going to say we'll start off with rotation, and we will add, let's just add a keyframe on X, Y, and Z. Okay, and then we'll go to, I think it's only rotation that we need. So let's just leave it at rotation for now. I think that will be, I think that will be fine. Okay, so here's what we're going to do is in the first position, let's just leave it like this. Okay, and then we'll go page down. That'll take us to the right side of the joystick. And so on the right side of the joystick, I want these things to be totally spread out. Okay, so I'm going to take my front wing and I'm going to 
rotate the Z rotation so that it's like this. Okay, and my front forward wing Z rotation is going to be like that. Okay, so I did uh, 15 and negative 27. So over here, I want to do the same. So let's go 15, wrong one. Which one is this one? There we go, we'll just, we'll just eyeball it. Eyeballing it's fine. Let's come forward like that. Okay, and then back, come back like that. Okay, then we need to select everything and hit. <laughs> I should have done that before. Uh, so let's just add these in. Um, typically you'd hit origin, but I need a keyframe on everything that's going to be, everything that's going to end up. And so even though I didn't rotate along the X and the Y, um, I still need keyframes there. Okay, so then we'll page down, we'll hit Command A, Origin, that puts everything back to the middle of the joystick. And now I wanna tighten everything up. So on the left side, the left side of the joystick, okay, I want it to be very tight here. Tight like onto a dish. So we'll go like this, and then we'll go like this. And then we'll go like this, very tight. Okay, page down again. So you've got origin, right, left. Now we're gonna go up. And on up, um, it's basically just the up position, which is, which is everything is kind of up in the air. Um, but let's see, I might have to change the We'll, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so that's fine. Then I'm gonna go down and we will add another origin. And this is where I rotate everything along the X axis so that it flaps down. And let's just do an even 150 X axis rotation flap down. And I don't want it to cross over there, so I'm going to leave that at 125. That's fine. Okay, and so we'll do 115, 125. So let's start with this one. And we'll go negative 150. And the other, we'll go negative 125. Okay, and so now we have our up, down, left, right. Okay, so that's great. Wonderful. Okay, so Command A, U, to hide all that stuff. I'm gonna unshy guy things. Now, I want the head, so I'm gonna take one of these wings and just hit, uh, hit U to reveal the keyframes. Um, and so, Ah, I don't need the keyframes. I'm going to hit you again. All right, so let's get the head here. And I want the head to rotate along the Z-axis. I'm going to hit R. Let's just check. Yep, so rotate along the Z-axis. Okay, and now I'm realizing that the mouth does need to be parented to the head so that it goes with it. Perfect. Okay. Now, the way I figure this is when it's up... So when he when he pushes his wings down, so he's gonna he's gonna push his wings down. It's gonna force force him up. So his head would kind of go down with that. So I'm gonna have um, on the wing on the wing down. I'm just gonna do this on Z. So I'm only gonna turn Z on. Okay, and so that's normal. There's no movement there, no movement there, and that's up. And so when he goes down, I want to rotate his head like this. Okay. And so here, let's put it just normal. We can kind of just change these however you want. It doesn't really matter. I'm just trying to get some like organic movement going on with that. Okay. So cool, cool, cool. So now we've got that. And I think that's what we need. So let's check this out. 
let's test how this works. So what I'm going to do is a Command A to grab everything. And then over here in my joysticks and sliders, I'm going to click on the Create New Joystick button. And we'll call this Wing Flap. Call it whatever you want. Click OK. It goes through everything. And then I'm going to click away and I'm going to take these guys and move them over. I want both the origin and the thing. Oh my gosh, just let me move you. There we go. Okay, and you will notice that as I go to the right, it spreads the wings out. As I go to the left, it collapses the wings. As I go up and down, it flaps. And so there's kind of just a fun, and I can do kind of like closed and, you know, so it kind of does that. Now, if I wanted to and say, you know what, when it's up, I want it to rotate a little bit more. And so when it's down, you know, what if, what if this pivoted? Okay, cool. That's not a problem. So I'm going to grab this control here and I'm going to unlink the joysticks from wing flap. Okay. And it, now if I press command A and hit U, everything is back. Okay. So now what I want to do is let's uncheck this. So as it goes down, okay, I'm going to rotate this a little bit. So front forward wing is what I want this one and I'm going to rotate this way and then I'm going to rotate this no this one down more like that okay and then back wing I'm going to rotate 23 as well good and let's find front back and take this one and I'm going to rotate it up like that. 30 is fine. Then I'll take this other one and do 30 as well. I'm doing that right? I think I am. Is the other one negative? Negative 33. Great. Okay, so now, but when it goes back up, I want those to travel. Uh, let's see, that's fine. So when these spread, now nah, they're okay. So when it goes back up, I want them to come up. So I'm gonna take this and rotate it. This might mess everything up, we'll have to see. Let's go front forward. That's not the one I want. Yeah, that's too close together. So I'll just leave it. But, okay, now I'm going to grab everything like this. I'm going to relink it to wing flap. Okay, and unclick. And now it rotates as it goes down. And so you can see, we can open and close it. We can flap. Okay, now, now I want to add a slider to the body. So I'm going to um, just grab our body here and I'm gonna hit um, R for rotate. And I wanna rotate this along. Yeah, there we go. So you can see I can turn this like this. Okay, so I want this slider to be able to control how far this goes. So at zero frames, it'll be that. And then at one frame, we're gonna take it all the way to back to zero. Okay, and I'm never quite sure what the slider is gonna do. So I'm gonna click over here and let's make a new slider. I'm going to call this body turn. Okay, and then we'll go to that null object. So now it creates a null object here, and I can I can come over here and I can rotate this. 
Okay, the way that I like to do it is I like to highlight that and then create a UI slider. And I didn't read that. So create UI slider. Select some sliders from your slider. I did. Body turn. Here we go. Do I have to like select it? There we go. Now it's selected. Okay, go over here and create. There we go. Okay, and now we have this little this little guy. So I'm going to undo that because I actually want the front of it to be in the middle, not the back of it. So I'm going to go back to joysticks and sliders. I'm going to take body turn and I'm going to unlink it. And then I'm going to go back to my body here and I'm going to move this one over like that. So I just switch the position of those um, and now we'll see how it goes. I'm going to grab this guy and we'll go relink to body turn. And I can come over here and turn him forward and away. Okay, now the cool part about this and the reason why I like doing it this way is that I can take this guy and I can put him over here. Okay, and I'm going to stack that up. And let's name this, let's name it turn, okay, and we'll come up here, and I'm going to grab this and rename this turn, rename this turn, rename this turn. Boom. All right, now when I want to, and I'm gonna, which one of these do I need? I need that one. The rest of these can go away and get locked. So lock you and goodbye and lock you and goodbye. And I also don't need this. So I will lock you and goodbye. And then I can, they all go away. Great, and so now I just have this and it will turn where I want. And so I can put like a little wiggle on that if I want. I can go position. I can go X position, Alt click. Whoops. Oh, there already was an X position in there. So, oh yeah. I don't know if I want to mess with that. You can't, you can't have a drift. I can do some stuff to it. But anyway, I can just come in here and kind of turn it like this. See how you can turn it like that while it's doing this so I can have this be flapping and this be turned like that. It's fun. So anyway, uh, one last one just for fun is I'm going to have the head on a slider as well. So I can't remember if this is going to break it or not. We'll, we'll find out. So my Z rotation here. Okay. I'm going to take this and I'm going to add a keyframe and then I'm going to go down. Then I'm just going to move that down like this. Okay, and then I'm going to grab that and I'll go create a new slider. And we'll call this head turn. Click OK. All right, and now I'm going to go to head turn. I'm going to grab this slider control, go back here. I'm going to go create UI. And it does, and it always puts it over in a weird spot. So let's grab, what is this? Where are these? There we are, at the top. Okay, now the one that you need to grab to move is the origin. It's the little slider deal, and the rest of them are parented to it. So where it goes, the rest of them go. And I can come in here like this. I can move this one down. Come with me, it'll be fun. No judgment. All right, so then I'm going to take this and I'm going to go head. Okay, and then I can take this guy, rename, do myself a favor here and go ahead and we'll just copy that to the clipboard. So as I rename each of these, I can just paste it. Great, that's the one I want, so this gets locked, this gets locked, this gets shy guide, and this gets shy guide. Beautiful. Okay, 
So now I can come back and go to fit and I can come over here and I can hide those things. And now I can control the head up and down and the pivot and the wings. So let's just do a quick animation, shall we? We shall. Why not? What is this? That's OK. That. Oh, this is the null object. You can be hidden. And that's fine. That's fine. That is also the null object. You can also be hidden. There we go. OK. So now I'm going to take these three. Hit P for position. I'm going to zoom out of my timeline by hitting minus. And I'm going to say, uh, let's start with uh, head slider control. I only need the X on that. And I only need the X on the turn. And then wing flap, I need the X and Y. OK, and so now I can grab those three, hit U twice to collapse that. OK, so we'll start here. And then let's say right here, I'm going to go down into a flap. And then I'll come up again. And we'll have it be like wide. And then come down and have it be super wide. And then we'll come up again and have it be really closed. And then we'll come down again and have it be open. I like it being kind of open each time it goes down. OK, then, so that I don't have to keep doing that, I'm just going to Alt-click and do a loop out expression. So that just should just continue to go up, down. That's way too slow. OK, so. I'm going to move these together by holding Alt. Whoop. Got Ronnie in the chat. What's up, man? Grab these guys, move them over. Butterflies are kind of like crazy in the way that they fly, and so I'm just going to make this go much faster. Okay, craziness. Okay, then I'm going to grab all of them and press F9 so that they easy ease. Great. OK, so there's that. And now um, I'm going to make the let's zoom in here. Let's see how we can space that out pretty evenly. Let's see if we can just kind of. If I was smart, I would have done this already and made sure that they were the same number of keyframes apart. But I didn't. So, oh well. All right, turn slider control and deal with it in a minute. OK, head slider control. When it goes down, I'm going to have this rotate down. And when it's up, have it go up like this, down, up, OK? And then I'm going to Alt-click, oops, Alt-click, and we'll loop out. Let's see if I just broke everything by overriding it. No, I didn't. All right, it's cool. OK, so we'll go down. <laughs> I need to go back up. So copy paste. Let's grab all three of these. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Great. OK, and then I'm just going to have this uh, turn slider just drift. So I'm going to Alt-click. I'm going to go wiggle, and under my wiggle, I'm going to say, uh, let's do it half a time a second. That's the frequency, and I'm going to have it drift like 30 degrees. Let's see how that looks. So I think I could make it drift a little bit. It's rotating. I'm going to have it rotate faster and more. So let's do... Let's do 60 degrees, and we'll have it do two times a second. 
And if I'm doing anything that doesn't make sense, um, you can always come and go to my playlist, AI to AE, um, on my YouTube channel, and it'll explain a lot of these things in greater detail. But there's a cool way to kind of rig a little character. Now, you'll notice that what's happening in the upper right-hand corner of the screen and what's happening in my little preview window here, the one in the upper right-hand corner looks a little bit better because, um, or I'll just put it in the TV right now. So the one in the TV looks a little bit better right now because as the wings flap, I have the body go up. And then as they come up, I have the body drop down. And so the body is offsetting the movement, um, which looks more realistic to a butterfly. Um, and so that's pretty easy though. You can do a slider on that if you wanted. I mean, you can move the body up and down if you wanted to do that. Um, anyway, there's some joysticks and sliders stuff. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, here's an intro again. This is your time.